My name is Nate Kralik, and I recently finished my second year as a medical student at the Ohio University Heritage College of Osteopathic Medicine here in Dublin. Um, this past year as a Schweitzer Fellow, I addressed the health disparities faced by transgender community members by developing a range of educational wellness programming with my partner organization, Stonewall Columbus. My first goal for the project was to create a series of live, interactive webinars that could easily be accessed throughout the region. These programs center on the specific wellness needs of the trans community uh, and their friends and family by addressing areas like gender affirmation and navigating the healthcare system. While these webinars have been practical for those seeking web-based resources on transgender wellness, I soon realized that many community members were already very knowledgeable on these issues and their needs centered more around the lack of access to knowledgeable healthcare providers that provided quality services to transgender patients. The current landscape regarding transgender healthcare is stark. According to the Ohio results of the 2011 National Transgender Discrimination Survey, 21% of transgender Ohioans were refused medical care due to their gender identity or expression, and 27% postponed needed medical care uh, when they were sick or injured due to this discrimination. While we are lucky to have some phys physicians in the Columbus area that provide competent services to transgender community members, the need for these services far outweighs the resources that are available. Midway into my project year, I added a new component to my project focusing on bringing trans competent providers into a community setting in a series called Wellness Dialogues. These events allowed providers to discuss their work with the community while answering questions from community members about wellness, access, and discrimination. It is amazing to see the impact that these events can have on community members, many, many of whom feel more empowered to access the care that they need. Beyond allowing me to see the results of my work, the fellowship has also been impactful for me and that it connected me to like-minded activists who are also doing formative work in transgender health issues. I know these connections will be valuable to me in my future medical career as my work in LGBTQ health is far from over. I would like to thank my academic mentor, Dr. Daniel Skinner, for his support in my fellowship project, as well as in other projects in the health of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer um, people. I would also like to thank Stonewall Columbus, specifically Liam Gallagher and Lori Gum, as without the cultivating environment there and the incredible guidance I received, this project would not have been possible. Lastly, I would like to thank Dr. Lorraine Wallace and all the other fellows for their support and commitment to their own endeavors. Thank you.